How's this for a kick of the asteroid? Apparently one came so darn close that it could have kicked a lot of life off this planet. It's true. An asteroid from out of nowhere within the interstellar stone's throw of Earth. Closer to the moon, any closer it could have easily whacked our Earth. Apparently if you saw it coming though, one of those intergalactic surprises that has me wondering. If we miss this one, what else are we missing, or at least not being told about? What other threats are out there just waiting for us? The Planetary Society's Bruce Betts joins me now. Now, Bruce, I know this was a roughly, in the end, the size of a bus. It would have had half the impact of the Hiroshima bomb in 1945. So that's a pretty big impact, and one we didn't see coming, or at least it wasn't well telegraphed. What happened? Uh, this is on the asteroid scale fairly small and in fact even though it would deposit all that energy this particular asteroid probably little of it would have made it to the ground you'd need a, a larger one like we had last year over Chelyabinsk in Russia uh, that would actually do damage. But basically, uh, we're looking for asteroids, we being the world scientists, but right. we need to be looking more, and uh, particularly these smaller asteroids, these and ones that could do Chelyabinsk or even city-sized damage, they're an awful lot that we haven't found so far. It's easier to find the big stuff. And so you keep an eye out for the big stuff. stuff, but the little stuff can do a lot of harm, too, if it hits just right, as it did in Russia. Um, it certainly shook up a lot of folks. Uh, but it, it, do we just have to accept that as a given, that those you know, might be missed as long as we're focusing on bigger ones that might be a lot more dangerous? No, we just we need to look more and improve our looking techniques. So when you look, you don't really choose to look for big or little. You look for whatever you find. Bigger is easier to find because it's brighter. Uh, you find little ones along the way, and little is of course, and big is of course relative scale. So really big is dinosaur killer extinction, kilometer sized and objects. That, that but one then you, you would can give us. Few hundred. All right, that one you would give us a heads up on the dinosaur killer is here on the way that one we not think so much the we little think bus that least, might right not right not the little bus that might and even more significantly the ones in between that could cause regional or city sized damage and you not only need to find them you need to track them you need to characterize them you need to figure out how to deflect them yeah. and all of that needs more push from nasa and the other agencies and you know the planetary society is, is the little society that could is is funding little increments okay. of this but I it's, got you. it's generally yeah, it's a preventable natural disaster. It's the only one we need right. to do more. Bruce Betts, thank you very much. I, I still want to know, where, where were you, Bruce Willis, when all this was going on? Apparently nowhere to be found.